So I did a video about a week and a half ago for Unprocessed and their uh, previous song, Thrash. And that was the first time I've ever heard them and it was absolutely incredible. I was immediately blown away by just how unique it was and how heavy it was, but with clean guitars. Like that just completely threw me for a loop. That end breakdown was just absolutely insane. I've never heard anything like that. If you haven't heard that song, please go check it out. And now they've dropped their newest track, Black Bone, and they have a new album coming out. It's called And Everything In Between. It looks like it's gonna be out on December 1st this year. And I cannot wait. Just hearing that one song, and I did go back and listen to a couple of their other songs, and apparently, just kind of from what the fan base said, uh, these guys have really like honed their sound in over the years. So I am really excited for this new album. I'm really excited to be checking out today's song. If I didn't say it, it's called Black Bone. I'm hoping for more of that like riffy, out of left field, you know, finger tappy stuff, and then the clean guitars like break down some screams maybe the epic chorus i'm hoping blackbone gives us more of that so let's go ahead and get into it and check it out playing an eight string i gotta get me an eight string not that i would be able to play like this but <laughs> How does he sing and play that? Oh my god, that sounds so good. So good and catchy. Oh, that's thick. But again, it's clean. A little bit of distortion. But it's not the typical heavy. So much going on. All the little lead runs and everything. Oh! <laughs> Those pinch harmonics sound awesome. how catchy the melody is but there's it's so complicated you me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god it's so low Switch it up on me a little bit. Yes. Oh, and a solo, yes! Let's go, Manuel. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's so tasty. It's so tasty. Oh, that was a fucking solo right there. So good. When I say I am excited for this album, that is an understatement. This is gonna be so good. These guys are like immediately in the running, for me anyway, for like album of the year. I know at the beginning of the year I said Sleep Token and I absolutely adore Sleep Token. I'm not gonna take that away from them. I, I love Sleep Token, but these guys are like the full package I feel like, cause Sleep Token is cool how they, you know, mix like the R&B stuff and like the pop stuff with the metal stuff, but there's not a lot of like, like riffs and almost no solos. There's like one solo on the last album. This has everything. Like just everything is is just like what I want from metal. It's unique. It doesn't sound like every other band right now. There's riffs, it's heavy, but it's different. Like heavy in a completely different way. Back to that uniqueness. Like nobody else is doing this that, that I know of, that I've heard. And then the vocals are incredible. The melodies are incredible. The solo, now we get a solo in this one. We didn't get a solo in Thrash, but just the breakdown was just so damn good it just kind of made up for it but the solo in this was like an actual solo and i feel like a lot of metal is missing that i am a sucker for solos i mean i grew up in the 80s and 90s and 2000s and shit like when people did solos in metal and i am a huge sucker for good melodic tasteful solos i don't want somebody to just you know, hey look i can play a million you know a million notes a second like just all the time it needs to have some melody to it and some taste and it needs to add something to the song and that 100% did. I was so excited when he broke out into the solo. One of the things that makes these guys so cool is that their guitar sections are extremely complex but underneath everything there's a simple melody and it's singable and it gets stuck in your head. I feel like that makes it more accessible. Somebody who is a casual music listener could listen to this and and actually like get something from it because yeah it is heavy there's screens and you know they might be put off by that and they're like oh I don't like that but the simple melody that's under everything especially like during the verse and stuff it just it sounds so good and of course the obvious comparisons to Polyphia are there and I'm sure some other bands I don't listen to a lot of uh, like the finger tappy stuff. I don't listen to a lot of that, so I'm not quite sure, but I know obviously that Polyphia does that. However, Polyphia generally doesn't have um, vocals in their in their songs unless they have like a, you know, like a feature or something on the track, which is cool. Uh, but adding vocals to this kind of music, I, I feel like just takes it to the next level. And then, you know, the solos and breakdowns and all that stuff, which of course, of course, Polyphia has like solos and breakdowns and stuff. But what I'm saying is this feels like a full song because it has the vocals and the vocal layering and the, and the singable chorus and the singable melodies and the verses and stuff. It's just the whole package. It's so damn good. I cannot wait on the new album. Like I said, it's called And Everything In Between. It's gonna be out December 1st. And that's like two months away at this point. So I'm really hoping we get a couple more singles before the full album drops, because these guys are so damn good. You guys let me know what you thought of Black Bone by Unprocessed down in the comments. Appreciate you hanging out and checking out the new track with me. If you like the content, be sure to like the video. It really helps me out. I do appreciate it a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any videos. I do these several times a week. Typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then some in between if you know if I get around to it. And of course, if you want to hang out with me a little bit longer, there'll be another video right there that you can check out. And I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.